guys, good to have you all back. Hello from Jackson. He does not want to move today. It is Sunday. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. Uh, I have a lovely online vintage treasure hunting video for you guys. Yes, I ordered um, a couple of beautiful items from a friend of mine on Instagram, Ellen's Little Treasures. I'm going to link her shop below, guys. Uh, go check her out. Then I received a beautiful package and also uh, from a lady that I buy from on Marktplaats, the Dutch marketplace. Her name is Monique and she sells all sorts. And I, had, I got some lovely items from her as well. So I have two lovely hauls for you guys and lots of Jackson. Jackson really wants to be with me at the, at the moment. It's fall. He cannot go outside anymore. He's a little bit sad and he just wants cuddles. He just wants cuddles. But he's, he's great. So please enjoy the two unboxings. And um, I'll see you at the end of, of the video again with this little guy. Until then, bye. Let's dive into my order from Ellen at Ellen's Little Treasures. Now, I've collected this order over the past couple of months, I guess. I have no clue what's in here. Well, probably when I unwrap it, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember this and that. But honestly, I don't know anymore because, uh, yeah, I buy a lot from my Instagram friends uh, in different uh, shops and such. And I just don't know. So, yeah. It's so beautifully packed. Look at all these guys. It's a Halloween theme. So everything is black and has some beautiful die cuts and look flowers. And it is just amazing. It's just amazing. So I'm going to push it to one side. Yeah. And um, I think I'm going to start with this one. It might have a lovely letter because uh, Ellen always sends me a lovely letter, so it might be in here. I have this um, scrapbook paper. I think I think I have this one. Let's just have a look. I'm going to start with smaller packages. What is in here? A lovely envelope. Yes. And then, oh, yes. Um, these are a birth announcement card. Are oh, these beautiful? They're so beautiful. Look at those. Yeah. These are old, 1923, so these are actually antique. This one is for Marcel. Uh, funny, it's pink, but Marcel is a man's name, I think. Oh, and these are French. Then it could be a girl. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, it's so cute. And then this one, it's embossed. Maurice. Oh, apparently pink was a color. For boys back then. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. You think this is a real photograph? Could be. Oh, beautiful. So cute. I remember, I remember buying these. I think a friend of mine tip, tipped me. She was like, oh no, these are Margaret wants these. I'm, I know for sure. I think that was the case. Oh, that's the same one as the first one. Right? But then... Uh, with a different color bow and Gilbert on it. These are all antique guys. And I adore them. Just love them. Oh, this, this is from 1950. So this is a little bit later. Oh no, it's not uh, the photograph of the mother and the baby. Because this is the same one actually. <laughs> yeah. Bonjour. 1934. And another one. Just lovely. I don't have any of these, these French ones or this old. So a great addition to my collection. Do I have any more? No, no. Okay, next package. This small box. Um, Happy Halloween, it says on the, on the washi sticker. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Has a lovely lady on the top. It's not a Tim Holtz person because it's way too heavy. I'm sorry, I'm going to rip this. Um, to be a uh, Tim Holtz person. It's very heavy chipboard. It is, however, a bride. And Ellen knows I am all into brides and such. Uh, let me get out a knife. Normally, I'd save the washi tape, uh, guys. I, you know, put them on a playing card or what have you. But this is Halloween and I don't do Halloween. So I am not saving this tape. It does look lovely, though. What do I have here? Ooh! I can't remember this. I cannot remember. Oh, yes. I remember those. That is so cool. This is a package with... Um, let's see. 
album covers, old ones from the 70s. Yeah, these are just cards with album co covers. Now, this is our Dutch ones. Gerard Cox. Yeah, probably all Dutch ones. It is just the coolest. Are there any? Uh, QB and the Blizzards. Is that, uh, was that a Dutch one as well? Don't think so. But a lot of Dutch, um, Dutch ones in here. Probably all of them. Which make me think that QB and the Blizzard was also Dutch. Oh, I love them. How could you part with these, Ellen? It's just old album covers. I had this. Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, I did. My mom. My mom had this one. Let's see if I can find any other ones that I recognize. So cool, right? So far, everyone on here is Dutch. So I'm thinking these are all Dutch. Does it say anything? Phono Quartet. Okay. 54 albums. Oh, yeah. Popular Dutch repertoire. So these are all Dutch. And I love them all. I love them all. Who is this? Oh, Adele. Uh, Adele. Yes, Adele Bloemendaal. Yes, she was an eccentric lady. Um, oil pastels. Do you think they're in there? I think they are. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, these are old. One is broken. They're never, they're, I don't think they've been used or used much. Oil pastel. Are um, oh, these called gauche or something like it? I don't know, guys. I don't know the, the name. You can put your name here. Fantastic. Vintagey. Let's unwrap this one. Beautiful envelope made from... Uh, an old book and it has this big die cut trick or treat in black that's a, it was such a cool idea Ellen to do everything in black and white I really like this it is very inspiring I think I'm going to do something similar like a project in black and white is this from um this is probably from a book from Leonard de Vries one of my favorite well it's not even an author but it looks like it looks like um, this is a lovely letter that I'm going to read by myself, by myself. And then this is probably a lovely little gift. Yeah. She, she always sends me a lovely gift. We are friends, you know. We are. I just found her book. Um, I'm going to show, I probably, do I have it in the next piece of this video? Yes, I have a, a book that I don't know if she has. If she doesn't have it, it is hers. Yes, we want you. So Uncle Sam, right? Yeah. And a avocado card. And oh, with a bat. That is so cool. This is all sort of a Halloween-y type of. That is really cool. With a number one. Um, yeah, this is in Rotterdam. This is probably from, uh, we have a big tunnel, a mass tunnel. And I think this is the entrance to it. Does it say anything? No, I need to ask my dad. My dad knows for sure. That's an old one. I think this is from, I don't, I don't know for sure. But it's old, it's old, old. Another one from Rotterdam. Yes, I wasn't around then, guys. This is not 1700s. No, I'm old, but not that old. Yeah, oh, that's so cool. She knows I'm from Rotterdam. <laughs> yeah. And a wedding card. Love it. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I just love it. Yes, that's an old one as well. Oh, I love everything, Ellen. Yes, all the things I love. Rotterdam, my city. And then Halloween, which I'm sort of getting into. And, you know, weddings and brides and such. Thank you so much for the for the lovely gift. I'm going to read your letter a little bit later because it's probably going to have some personal stuff in it. That will make me cry. I'm going to unwrap this one. It has it is cellophane with black polka dots. That is so cool. And it has this piece of ephemera on it. That is really, really lovely. 
Oh, I'm going to keep this in um, sort of my scrap box. Scrap box thingy. Uh, stamps. Yes, these are stamps. She sold a lot of stamps. And there were a couple of them that I missed out on. But these I really liked. Um, I'm going to unwrap this later. And this one. Yes, it is um, the sun, sun and the moon. Now, I don't have the example here. And they, they look like, like they have never been used. But I thought they were really sort of Tim Holtzy. It's like a face in a moon. And then half the half moon. And I, I, I don't know. And, uh, I, and I don't know. Oh, I really like them. Um, I'm going to go stamp them, guys. And then show you what they look like on paper. First, let's do this. This says duty. These are actually sugar uh, sachets. What's in here? What did I buy? I can't remember. I remember those. Yes. Oh, cool. These are um, license plates. These are not old, old. But I do like them a lot. I do like them a lot. So cool. On a, on a journal cover. They're, they do have some small holes. I'll probably make them a little bit bigger. So a brad will uh, fit through. So you can sort of attach them to uh, a journal cover oh these came with uh chocolate milk and coffee milk and chewing gum <laughs> apparently you could collect these so i think they're older probably 70s or 60s because i don't know them aroma oh 1968 so i'm thinking early 70s cool right I love them. For God, I got those. Oh, they're amazing. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Now, for the bigger packages. Uh, this is the smallest one of the biggest. Oh, no. I'm going to stamp. I'm going to stamp really quick and show you the result of these. Well, I know for sure they were new. Because the backings of the sort of mounting rubber thing were still on them. So, they were never used. And I love them. This is very Tim Holtz to me. Yeah. It's like a face in the moon. And then the moon, and apparently this is a sun. It's very sort of um, 20s. It feels like 1920s to me, the sort of illustration. I adore this one. I know this was the one that I saw, and I was like, I don't care about these other ones. I just want this one. But I am really happy I have the other ones as well. Yeah, that's a great addition uh, to my stamp collection. Love them, love them. Okay, now for the, well, probably books, because it's heavy. And again, um... Uh, a bad sort of small charm. Really cool. Really cool. Now I do love this paper. Ellen. I really like it. So I am trying to. Carefully. <laughs> unwrap this. It's heavy paper as well. It's not Maybe it's not even wrapping paper. But something else. Or like the Pippin. The peppin paper. Do you know the peppin paper? Like books with um, sheets of wrapping paper or something like it. There we go. I don't know what this is, but it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like parrots in the jungle, but then in black and white. So I'm going to keep it. Okay, <clears throat> well... Apparently, I bought this one. Of course you did, because it's a cookbook. Yes. It's an old cookbook from uh, Amsterdam. Well, that's okay. Big advertisement piece on the back. Actually, uh, Ellen lives... Is, maybe she's even from Amsterdam, but she lives very, very near Amsterdam. I visited her uh, once. Oh, that is so cool. Do we see a date? Well, this says 1943. So this is probably made before, before that time. And this says 1910. Could be, could be 1910. I don't know. Oh, look. Oh, it has lots of those in here. Oh, yes. Absolutely love them. The paper is so soft. It's like velvet. Oh, look. Table settings. Table settings. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so you have some black and white ones, but also... Some um, colored ones. 
These are all black and white. Not appetizing at all. I know. I keep saying this, guys. These older sort of photographs. Uh, they don't look appet appetizing to me at all. Yes. Well, this is... Um, they call it game. Yes. Game meat like ducks and pheasants and uh, rabbit or hare or... Oh, yes. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. 1910. I can scan it. Yeah, I can. That's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I like this. And fish, fishes. So we have a couple of um, black and white ones, but also some colored ones. And I adore the colored ones. Look at that. Yeah. And I don't have this one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Well, well, well done me. Well done me. Um, uh, this actually, I think, has even two books. Now I'm going to uh, unwrap it for you guys and let's see what's inside. It's a Mousseau book. This one I don't have. I have a lot of them, guys. I don't know exactly how many there are. Uh, Mousseau is like the publisher. Let's say, uh, call it the publisher. Um, there are, there's a Dutch sort of publisher called Meulenhof. Meulenhof or Meulendijk. I think Meulenhof. Which is actually pretty similar. So I do collect these. And I did not have this one yet. So I was very happy. Look at the beautiful illustrations in here. Now it's a little bit weird. Because it's like diseases and damage in the garden. So it's not a happy, happy, joyful book. Uh, because of all the the bugs and such. But I do love, love it. Now I don't have a second copy of this of course. Because I didn't own this one. So I cannot cut it up. I cannot, but I can. Oh, it's, isn't that beautiful? I can put it in my bookcase with the rest of it. I have a lovely collection. Ooh, fantastic, Ellen. Fantastic. Love it. Then the complete book of Herbs and Spices by Claire Lowenfield Feld and Philippa. Philippa back. Ooh, that's cute. Um, this was the dust cover. I think it's it's a bit older. It's a bit older. I don't know. Love this. Can we find a date? Uh, bum, bum, bum. New, not on here. Uh, 1976. This edition. The early one was from 1974. Uh, let's see. Because it has, probably has, yes, it has these. Now they're probably all black and white, but I don't, I don't really mind. These are perfect for... For uh, maybe you can even draw them in, like color them in. That's fantastic, right? It has lots of these big ones. It's a beautiful book. Oh, and also some colored ones. Oh yes, pretty, pretty. I I, I prefer these. Weird, right? Yes, because normally I'm really into the um, um, colored ones, but these black and white ones, chickweed, they look good, right? Thank you so much, Ellen. Sometimes Ellen finds these books because, uh, like me, she is a, a vintage uh, a treasure hunter, and um, and she knows that uh, the book is so me. And then she contacts me before she puts them online, and she's like, "Is this something that you might like?" Maybe she did it with this book. I don't know anymore. But she probably could have. Now this this looks fantastic, right? Amazing. It's like a whole branch with... I'm going to keep this one for last. I'm going to keep this one for last. Then I have this one with black wrapping paper. Black lace I'm going to keep. And this beautiful page from an old book. There is uh, There are two books in here. I'm going to unwrap it and let's see what books did I get. I managed to salvage this page. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is from a vintage book for sure. I really like it. It actually looks like uh, a page from the British Concise Flora something. Or if you're Dutch, Timus Flora and Kleur. And then um, in a black and white. It just looks just like it. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Two more books. Yes, this is so me. It's probably all about fashion. Something. No, music. And music covers, um, 1890 to 1925. Uh, I love this era of illustrations like the Art art Nouveau, Art Deco and such. I'm going to go from this side. Let's start. Let's start here. Oh, I'm already in love. Oh, you beautiful doll. You are. Yes. Yeah, so these, this is a book with 
um, the music covers. Now, you know, I have been getting a lot of uh, music papers, music sheet scores uh, lately. So I have some like real ones. But this is just a, a book with all the um, the illustrations. I am happy to have some some real ones. I might even find some in here that I actually have. That might happen. Aren't they beautiful? I love the colors um, from that era that they printed in. Absolutely fantastic. I have not seen one that I already own, but, but they look very similar to um, the ones that I have. Gorgeous. Did you not want to keep this for yourself, love? I wouldn't part with this. Yeah, it's full. And then, then there's some music as well. Really, I have some music paper. Who knew? <laughs> uh, but I especially, of course, love the, the illustrations in here. Fantastic. Now, uh, let me show you who is it by. It is, uh, well, it's called Memory Lane. It's from Warehouse, selected by Max Wilk. That's what I know about it. And it is from 1973. Yes. Fantastic. Another one. Oh, yeah. I cannot remember buying this. Ooh. Oh, I am so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, why not take a swing at the camera while you're at it? Uh, the anatomical human. Yes, uh, there's a glare on here. I'm sorry, I cannot even read. Studies of the human body with drawings of Leonardo da Vinci, John Flaxman, Henry Gray and others. Um, this actually looks like uh, my uh, digital that I made. Oh, no. I I, had, I did not have this book yet, guys. And I probably cannot. Oh, look at those. I cannot scan from it because um, um, this is copyright. But the actual drawings in here are hundreds of years old. So if you can find them online, um, yeah, you can use them. Because the drawings themselves, oh, look, it's twins, are not uh, copyrighted anymore. Because be, be, these are maybe even from the 1700s or... I don't know for sure, but old, 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 old. Oh, yeah. Aren't these fantastic? There's a whole sort of story on when it's from. Oh, 1519, 1517. Yeah, so lots of really, really old. I love them. I know it's creepy, but it's good creepy. Anatomy. Yeah. Look at these. Oh, they're doing a little dance. Yes, these are sort of the Bee Gees from the 1570s. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just babbling. I absolutely love this book. Ellen, thank you so, so much. She probably contacted me about it because she knows I'm into this creepy stuff. Um, I have my last package. I am thinking these are all the magazines bound together. Let's. I'm going to take this off very carefully because I love it. I managed to save the beautiful decoration. Now, I know for sure this is from a Leonard de Vries book. Um, yeah, I have that one. She knows I love I love him because she's the reason I love him. Yeah. And then this piece. Isn't it cool? I like it. I could put this. You could put it on a journal cover. Hmm. I'm going to think about it. And then a creepy medallion. Dead lady. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> illustrated Stuyvesant Blood. This is all. This is, in fact, uh, a magazine. Like a couple of editions then bound together. Probably. Let's see from what year this is. Um, blum, blum, blum. Um, 1881? No, this could be not be 18. No, it is 1881. 16, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't say the date that this exact one is from. Or it's like 16 years. Well, let's say late 1800s. Late 1800s for sure. Oh, yeah. Look at the pages, guys. It's completely falling apart. I love all the illustrations. They look amazing. I have not seen any photographs in here. There are probably not photographs in here. What, but will there be advertisement? I don't think so. I don't think so. Advertise. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. There is. Look at that. Hello, advertisement pieces. 
Oh, fantastic, right? And the ladies on the front. I'm gonna just gonna do a quick this. Some some smaller advertisement pieces. Am I in frame? Yeah. I just love it. Uh, this is late 1800s because it is year 16th and they were founded in 1881. So, <clears throat> or is this June 1881? No, no, no. It's the same. So I'm thinking like 18, 1898 or something. So yeah, I I adore it. I adore it. I adore it. I adore everything. I bought good stuff, right? I did. Love it. Thank you so much, uh, Ellen, for the beautiful wrapping. It is amazing. Where do you find the time? The lovely present. And um, I'm going to read your letter later. It's This is going to be very personal, so I'm not going to do that on camera. Um, and, you know, until next time, because... She sells the most wonderful stuff. I'm linking her Instagram below, guys. So go check her out. Now, my order from Monique, a lady that I buy from on the Dutch uh, marketplace. Uh, she's also the lady that I bought the big boxes with the music paper from. Amazing. So um, I bought a big box a couple of weeks ago. And I did uh, sort of a flip through of the box and the unboxing. Uh, but she actually had another box. So that one I also got. And then a whole bag of miscellaneous stuff. Yeah. Now this lady sells everything for very, very cheap. Um, and some items I got for 50 cents. So I'm going to tell you the, the total amount. I bought a big box, big, big box of antique music paper. I'm not going to show them guys because you've seen enough of my music paper. And then all the items that I'm going to show you now. And then some personal ones. I'm going to talk about the personal ones later. I paid 19 euros for everything. I'm going to start with this bag. Cost me 50 cents. It's a bag of assorted uh, ribbons and laces and trims and such. Now some of them... Um, I won't use some of them I already have, uh, but it's just for the fun of it. Now, this is just for uh, a present, like paper, wrapping, whatever. I, I wouldn't use this. This is also from probably a present. Somebody collected this, I think, and then it ended up at Monique's. Um, this is lovely for Christmas. It also looks a little bit vintagey. Lovely Christmas stuff. And then um, gingham. It's actually newer. Uh, no, it's plaid. It's like Scottish tartan, whatever. It has the the sort of metal things in here. You know, the, the bendable, whatever. But you can take those out. It's very shiny, very Christmassy. Most of it is really, really Christmassy. But that's okay. Christmas is coming. Some gold stuff. Looks older. Some more gold small piece this is absolutely christmas i do enjoy this this is older this has been used with uh so this is called holly i think so with holly on it and uh, more, gold. <laughs> more gold it's all shiny stuff but that's okay more gold here oh that is actually lovely yes it's like lace but gold gold lace and then some orangey gold it's just, it's just cool. Um, this, I do like this. Yes, it's in two colors because, oh, this is a little bit smaller. Also in brown with gold. Yeah. I wouldn't use all of it, guys, but the whole bag was 50 cents. Uh, there are probably, probably two or three items in here that I would have paid 50 cents for. Uh, for instance, this. That's just amazing. I love it. Love it. Isn't that cute? I have a whole bunch a whole bunch. Are you even is it two? No, this is just the inside. So I would have paid paid fifty cents for this if I would find this in a thrift shop. Yes, fifty cents for sure. This is vintage. This is old stuff, and I love it. It is very Christmassy, but this is old, guys. Yeah, well, it looks old to me. Smells really old. It's a lot on here. Lots of Christmas stuff. I need to do some Christmas. What is this? Well. Um, it was apparently for Christmas because it says happy holidays it's a royal blue satin ribbon lots of it cannot go wrong I love this color it's well, one of my mom's favorite colors the royal blue 
And then this that looks a little bit older, 15 millimeters. It is silk like. It's not silk, but it sort of feels like silk. It's a whole spool. That's, it is very Christmassy. Um, uh, some more of the sort of satiny ribbon. This very Christmas sort of gingham in green, gold, and red. Uh, I have some silver as well. Again, with the, with the wire in it. Yeah. Love this. Absolutely love this. Yes, just put a uh, snip a piece off, make it into a cluster, and it's absolutely perfect. Very sort of uh, like a big weave, yeah? Woven spaciously. I don't know, guys. You get catch my drift, yes? There are big holes in here instead of small holes. Okay. Um, this is actually... Probably that you can iron on something and then embroider it, which is cool. Yeah, it's a whole bunch as well. But you could also use it uh, for paper in junk journals and such. So, love this. A small pack of red satin ribbon. Small piece of satin ribbon. This is in red with gold. Yeah, it's not that old. Some silver and these are just all... Um, small bows. What else do we have? More silver. It's nice though. And gold. So uh, lots of Christmas stuff in here. But that's okay. I love this a lot. Two smaller pieces. But that's okay for toppers or what have you. Really cool. This is not even ribbon. I think, is it a sticker? Oh, it is transparent. A sort of a transparent type of... It's not washi tape, but... It is transparent. With snowman. Snowman. Is there something on the back? Oh, it's probably... Oh, it's for windows. Um, You can put this on windows, you know, with water and attach it to a window. Yeah. I'm not going to attach it to my window, but, you know, fun. Uh, something in white, I think. A little piece of this. Uh, this is fantastic for Easter or spring. That's cute. These are just all little lambs jumping over a fence. So Easter. Yellows. Easter. Easter. This is with the wire. And then this with um, daffodils. It's called daffodils, right? Yeah. Two pieces. Fantastic for spring journal. So love it. Pair it with this green. And you know, uh, I already have this, a piece, and now I have a bigger piece. And I'm in love with this one. I love this. You know, it's gingham and lace in one. Fantastic. It guys, it was 50 cents. Honestly. You pick it up, right? Yes, that's what I did. Uh, let me show you the fabrics, because I also bought a bunch of different fabrics for 50 cents. Let me show you. This all was 50 cents. Now, most of it, I am I, I have no clue how to use. But let's let's just see. Because there's some white tulle in here. I could make something with it. Now, you can dye this. Ask me how I know. Because I worked in bridal fashion for decades. And uh, when I started out, all the bridal fashion was white. And then slowly it turned into ivory. Well, it didn't turn into ivory, but the fashion was more ivory than white. Now everything is ivory and nothing is white. So back in the day, yes, we had veils made from this material. And they just made white veils. So we, we uh, put the veils in tea. <laughs> so we tea dyed the veil. So I know you can dye this. So I have a bunch of tool, a bunch of tool, And then some organza. Oh, I do love this. Very boho, right? Oh, yeah, I love it with all the colors. Oh, yeah, it makes me happy. Makes me happy. And then some sort of Christmassy stuff. Some red with gold stars and um, black with... Oh, this is actually lovely. Yeah, if you're going to do something with organza. I'm for sure going to keep this. Oh, I like it. I like this. Yeah. I have no clue how to use it, but maybe one day I'll do another sort of boho journal again. And this will come in handy. Handy for sure. Uh, Christmas. Must be Christmas this, right? Yeah, Christmas. Some small... Is there a... Oh, yeah, there's a needle here. Uh, a pin. A Christmas village with some small bits and bobs. And 
you know, for Christmas. This is actually, oh, more Christmas. Um, a bigger piece with holly or a mistletoe. What do you call it? I don't know. I don't know. This is red. This is actually embroidery uh, material to embroider on, like cross stitch, right? In red. That's unusual. Oh, it's a it's a long piece. Oh yeah, if you're gonna embroider something Christmassy, that'll be cool. Um, I did do a lot of embroidering cross stitch when I was younger, and I really loved it. I tried to do it uh, recently. I cannot anymore because I need glasses to see for far away, and also apparently I need glasses for really nearby because I tried my dad's reading glasses, and then it worked. <laughs> it worked. So I want to have a loop or something because I'm starting to become an old lady and I need glasses. More of this embroidery uh, floss stuff. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Look, these are sort of um, uh, ribbon. I don't know what you call it. Sort of uh, ribbons. Let's call it sort of ribbon. Yeah. And then you could actually iron this on it yes you could iron this on and then it transfers and then you can probably embroider on it so that's a good deal it was 50 cents guys all the fabrics that i'm showing you another small piece that has a lovely sort of edge on it and a bigger piece in white so i i do want to try um some um cross stitch again because it is very relaxing i do enjoy it then I have this big piece of, I think it's fleece. It's not felt, it's fleece. It feels like fleece. Yeah. Now you could probably make, um, oh, it's very woolly. I don't know, Easter eggs or bunnies with this if you were a seamstress. I am not. But how about a journal cover for Easter? I think it's cool. I think it's cool. And hey, I have it. So why not use it one day? You never know. You never know. Then I have this. This is a piece of, uh, well, yellow gold chicken wire. Which I don't know. I don't know, guys. Probably, I don't know. And then this whole piece in silver. Sort of gauze. Um, yeah, you could make lovely sort of silver bows for Christmas in your Christmas tree. Or... Or something else, or something else. Now, for the lovely fabrics, because these were the ones that I was really interest in, uh, interested in, of course. And on the back here. Yes, for Easter. Look at that. It's not even Christmas yet, love. You're already uh, talking Easter. Yes, bunnies, chicks, and um, Easter eggs. Big piece as well. Yeah, it's big piece. You can make two or three journal covers out of this. Another one for Easter with little lambs and Easter eggs. And uh, roosters and such. Another big piece. Isn't this gorgeous? It's absolutely beautiful. Love the colors. Uh, has bunnies in a field of uh, flowers, tulips, and such. Big piece again. Well, not a huge piece, but you could make a couple of uh, journals with this. I would pick this up in a thrift shop for sure. And then another lovely yellow one. With some flowers. Again, a big, big piece. Yeah, and I love small flowers. And another ribbon that I'm going to put with the rest of the ribbons. So, I'm good for Christmas, apparently. And I'm good for Easter. Yeah. Were those the, the fabrics? Yes. But I have uh, some more items. I have no idea how to incorporate this in junk journal making or uh, paper crafting. But I just had to have it. I bought a couple of items that were more like household stuff or just thought uh, things that i thought were really really nice uh i bought a vintage lamp a desk lamp a vintage one probably from the 50s was 50 cents it's amazing and uh a brown glass apothecary sort of bottle that those are very expensive 50 cents and i bought this one that is apparently um this is a mailman bag yes uh, you hang it up here and it says um, PostNL is like our mail servers. <laughs> yes, I, I, this is probably something that you cannot sell or I don't know where she got this because it's um, a property of the Royal uh, PostNL. It is dirty. I'm going to clean it. I have no idea what to do with it, but I just had to have it. They collect mail in this, I think. 
I think they collect mail on this. Oh, it does have a price on it. Uh, it says 750. 7 euros and 50 cents. I don't know, guys. Uh, what am I going to do with it? Well, um, I'll tell you. I'm going to uh, I'm going to wash it first. See if I can clean it. I'm going to put it on two um, hangers. Yes, clothes hangers. Uh, in my dad's new room. He has a new room here. And this is going to be his laundry bag. So I've decided it's going to be a laundry bag. Yeah? I'm going to hang it up in, um, in his closet. And it's going to be a laundry bag. I don't know if I can clean it, but it's just for 50 cents. Come on, guys. You cannot. I, I could not. I could not. I have some other items. Let me show you. Well, I have all sorts of miscellaneous stuff. Um, this was a lot. I did pay up for this a little bit because I was in a sort of a bidding war with someone. And I won. I won. So I paid two euros for uh, all four of these. But this is a very old one. It's a vintage cigar tin. Uh, I didn't have this one. I would have paid probably two euros for this one alone uh, in a thrift shop. Because I know of this one. And it's an oldie. It is sort of falling apart. But that's okay. Actually, I think this is from a crafter. Because all of them have um, some sticker on it. That says uh, plastic letters. And plastic center. Is, I don't know. Could be a junk journaler. Could be or or someone else. So I have uh, four cigar uh, boxes that I love to fill with labels, bits and bobs, knickknacks, what have you. And especially this one because this is a very old one. And um, I need to repair it. It's a little bit broken. And this is for display and a um, cardboard one. Yeah, oh, just love it. So yeah, I paid two euros for it, which is a lot more than 50 cents. She started out at 50 cents. But, you know, I wanted it. A big stamp from Trodat. It's a Trodat stamp. You can um, uh, move everything up. And there's some, well, I'm ho hopefully you still can. This, I don't know, because it's an old one. Does it want to move? I'm hoping so that it didn't sort of dry out. Because I really want to use this one. But I'm, I'm afraid it's completely dried out. I don't know. No, it's not moving anymore. Which is a shame. Because there were some very interesting uh, stamps on here. Like dollar signs. Percentage. Kilograms. A quarter. I don't know. So I'm going to see if my dad. Oh, this one does turn. If my dad can fix it for me. Or I already fixed it myself, except for the last one. The last one really doesn't want to move. But that's okay, because I, I just love them. So many interesting things on here. So a big stamp, vintage one. Yes, 50 cents or maybe a euro. I don't know. One of the games, the quartet games with flowers. This is not an old, old, old one. Uh, and I do already own this one, but not for 50 cents. <laughs> oh, I love the back. I forgot I had, these had the lovely bags. Normally these bags are blue in a lighter color blue. Uh, all with flowers. Yes, I already have one of those. So now I can use them in journals and uh, such. So this one. This says... Pen with a stamp. I cannot find the stamp. I could find the pen though. The pen is in here. It was also advertised at pen with stamp. Could not find stamp. Um, it's a lovely pen, but actually I did put, bought, did buy it for the stamp. <laughs> but there's no stamp here. And does it write? It, do, it does write. Now I've checked the bottom here. Yes, and on the bottom... There is a receipt. Yeah. Micro pre-ink. Is it somewhere in here? Um, yes, because the packaging is in here. And where do you put it in then? In. Somewhere here. Can you put it out or? I don't know. Looks like it is. Should be in here. I'm going to figure it out, guys. There's the... Oh, it's probably in the pen somewhere. It's in the pen somewhere. But where and how you do it, I have no clue. Oh, wait. Oh, look, there's a stamp here. 
Yeah? And then you flip it over. Oh, found it. Found it. Give me a piece of paper. Does it stamp? It does. Oh, cool. I didn't know. Well, figured it out. We figured it out, guys. Where's the ink then? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but I love it. So, oh yeah, I found a stamp. It's really cool. Yeah. So, yay for the instructions. Pen with stamp. Never seen anything like it. Have you? I'm going to clean it up a little bit later. What else do I have? I have some miniatures. Yes, this sort of big um, clock. It is. It's not a toy, guys, but it is very poor quality, but I didn't care. I might do at one point a vignette box. And I thought that this would look lovely. If not, I have sort of these sort of letter boxes. We call it a letter box or letter press boxes. These are the drawers that uh, printers had their letters in. But in the Netherlands, we put them against the wall. Yes, on its side. And you can put lovely knickknacks in. Letter box. Yeah, I have a couple of those. And then also this one, a candlestick. This is actually from tin. This is real tin. Yes, candlestick. I think I'm going to buy Tim Holtz's candles. I think they will fit in perfectly. So yeah, it's heavy. It's also really, really heavy. So I bought some of these because you never know. You never know. I uh, also bought this. I don't know why. It's sort of a rose in um, glass stain. And uh, it's in the half an egg. And I was like, do you open it up? Or is it, what is it? But it's just pretty. <laughs> it's just pretty. I was thinking it might be a, a box or container or something. But no, it's just pretty. And I, I like it. I might try to remove this plastic bit. And because then I can use, I can use this on a journal cover. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I bought two, and I thought they were fairy tale books. Uh, I saw a, a, a photo of it, and they looked big. They are not actually what they are. Is a Viewmaster booklets for well the Viewmaster, you know the red thing that you click with the goggles, and you know what Viewmaster is. Uh, I don't have one of those. I am still looking for one, and these were probably. Uh, well, this is the story of um, Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah. And this is uh, also Cinderella. But a different, a different Cinderella. Yeah, so I have the booklets, but not the rest. But that's okay, because I enjoy the booklets. Now, um, this is one lot, and then this is one lot. Actually, um, you just uh, heard me talking about Ellen and uh, that I have something for her. I don't know if you have this one, Ellen. I know Rie Kramer is her very favorite. She loves it. And it's an illustrator. And this is the Book of Angels. Um, with small little angels in them. From 1975. The first edition was in 1938. With these lovely little images. So I'm going to contact Ellen. See if she uh, has the book. Uh, if not, it's yours, lovely. I'm going to send it to you. Yes, because I know she appreciates this. And if she does have it, then I have it for myself. But I think... She's going to love it. She's going to love it. Okay, for the last... Is this the last item I have? I think so. For the last item. Again, this was actually one lot. And it says uh, craft supplies. And it is. It's actually craft, craft supplies. It's not old, guys. It has these paper packs that were one euro at probably Vibra. I think in Vibra. Uh, I have found one of these in a craft shop for 25 cents or something. And it's, it's handmade paper. I have uh, the black and white, the blues and the browns. And they're small pieces of paper, but handmade. It's for scrapbooking, wrapping paper, um, gift labels. Oh, uh, let me just unwrap one of them really quickly. Now, I've never seen these in the shop where they were originally from. Because I hardly ever go there. But they're small uh, pieces of um, handmade paper. Yeah, this is printed and these are just, they're very thin. And uh, it's lovely and this is a little bit heavier. And then also in solid colors, in blue and in black. I, I would pick this up at a thrift shop for sure. It's lovely paper. So yeah, this came in the set. 
Oh, it's not even the last uh, lot. No, I have also have these. Um, stickers. Now, most of these are new, guys. But I don't really, really mind. These are sort of puffy stickers and also fluffy. Puffy, fluffy stickers in letters. I was thinking, because I also have uh, the white ones. I was thinking... Oh, this is called the Velvet Alphabet. Can we open it up? I'm just going to try one of them, guys. Because I was thinking... Uh, can we ink it? <laughs> we probably can. Let's do a letter. Let's do the Q because I'll probably never use a Q. Uh, I'm going to go vintage photo. I don't have my small brushes with me. So I'm gonna, just going to do this. Do we need a piece of paper underneath? Uh, let's do just in case. Just in case. Can we? Yes, we can. So, basically, you can ink the letters so they're not white and still fluffy. Yeah. Or you can do it with markers or what have you. So, <laughs> so if you ever see this and you're like, what am I going to do with it? Pick them up. These are blue. Probably do some stamping on it or something. Yeah. Why not? So, some of these fluffy uh, velvet letters. Then two stamp set. They are actually... I think the same. They are actually the same. It's an alphabet, but a little bit sort of grungy looking. Yeah, this was probably bought at Action, so it, it probably cost nearly nothing. I have two of them, so I will give one, uh, gift one to a friend of mine. Uh, if, she all, if she doesn't already have it. Alphabet, you cannot go wrong with an alphabet. Then um, these stickers, especially for card makers, with some grapes and... Um, gift labels and it says happy holidays yeah I'll probably never use it but that's okay some more of these uh scrapbook puffy stickers why not why not yip and janneke um this is like iconic for the netherlands dutch um it's from yes love i know you can uh, jackson wants to come and say hi um a children's book from the 60s 70s it's an iconic one so I have some of these uh, stickers. They're not old, but, you know, I have them. Yes, love. I know all of you love Jackson so very much, but uh, I need to do my job. Jackson, <laughs> go lie down, love. It's way too busy on here. Uh, Persia the Green Engine. I don't. I will probably never use this. But I have some children in the neighborhood, and I'll give them uh, these. Uh, again, some handmade stickers. He is insistent to be. Yes, I love you too. He just wants to cuddle. For some scrapbooking, they were all. It was all in one bunch, guys, and it was fifty cents. So I thought, let's go have a look. More puffy stickers from for little boys, and so I'm gonna give these to some children in the neighborhood. And um, a ruler with a, a sort of a stencil letter thingy. So and it's pink. It's actually uh, sort of fluorescent pink. That reminds me of. Oh, there you go. Oh yes, there you go. <laughs> it reminds me of leg warmers in the 80s. Yes. So, um, three more things that I need to show you guys. I had a set of four old, um, she said four old sort of uh, cards or drawings. And I think these are actually the covers of jigsaw puzzles, of, of old jigsaw puzzles. Because that's what they remind me of. I think that's it. Uh, very old, well, not very old, I think 60s or 70s yes these sort of puzzles so this one for sure probably this one as well yes a little person did some drawing on it and on the back as well and then this one with another bit of drawing hi jackson he's back again with bunnies with bunnies yes go lie down there you go love there you go yes no it's not yours and then the last one this this is a little bit different i don't know where it's from but, you know, I thought they were lovely. And, uh, you know, I have no clue what to do with them. But I just wanted them for 50 cents. <clears throat> then I have this. Another. Yeah, it's another music book. I know. But the cover was so lovely, right? Yeah. Seven children's songs. I probably know all of them. And it had these um, lovely little uh, images with every new song. So, yeah. Uh, well... I don't know any of them. <laughs> I 
actually don't know any of them. No. Which means um, they're really, really old. Or they're not that popular. But I love this. And this is another um, sort of notebook. I already have one of her. Of this lady who went to school to be a seamstress probably. I had one uh, with uh, some stitching. Some practicing of stitches. Go lie down, love. Go over there. Yes, I love the, the notebook itself. It's really lovely paper. It's from the same person. And uh, it has well, uh, this measurements. Baby measurements, says it, it says here. And then some more. She did, I don't know. What did she do? Boys, girls... Yes, love. Oh, he wants. He really wants to go. <laughs> he really wants to go. So these are all measurements. It looks like ledger. It isn't. And there's some paper left. And what's in here? Some. Uh, well, it looks for zippers or something. Does it look like? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I am not seamstress. I cannot even sew on a button. So I have another one of her um, um, sort of notebooks from school. Yes, it says a uh, uh, measure notebook with measurements. Lovely. So that's it, guys, for my lovely little online vintage treasure hunting haul. Um, Jackson says hi. <laughs> he's, he's all cuddles at the moment. Uh, I got a couple of sort of comments and questions. Where's Daisy? Where's his sister? I'm in a different room. Uh, the room where the, that I am normally in, in our conservatory, that's her domain. She just lives there. She loves it there. And I'm actually, and it might sound a little bit weird, I'm actually in our bedroom. But our bedroom is huge. It's really, because it used to be two rooms and now they made it into one room. And um, so I set up a new sort of craft space. And the bedroom is actually Jackson's sort of territory. So he's like, well... While you're here, mom, I'm going to go grab some cuddles and such. And he is amazing. I know he is, right? Look at the face. Look at the face. I'm going to eat you. I love them so much. Uh, so that's it, guys. I'll be back again uh, tomorrow with another crafty video. Um, it's going to be fall. Probably fall inspired. Yes, because I really love fall. I'm really into it. So I'm hoping to see you then. Until then, bye, guys.